Hello everybody and good day to our critters out there. I'm Amy Chase with Sideshow and we are here to show you something extremely exciting from our Critical Role collection. For the first time ever, we've got the entirety of Vox Machina and the Mighty Nine. I'm not alone because I need an adventuring team to help me present these to you guys. I am joined by Sam Regal and Talison Jaffe and we're gonna take a closer <laughs> look and you guys are getting the first look at the full collection as well. This is <laughs> madness. <laughs> it's incredible. Look at them all. There's so many. And they're so pretty. How, how, yeah, how did this happen? I don't know. Thank you for having us and thank you for making all this stuff. It's <laughs> so, so cool. And I think, because I have Scanlan, not Tarion, and Dodie that you, I have the most. You do have the most. <laughs> I, I was, win. And you're a close second. I'm a close second. Yeah, I just need one more death and I can start to beat you. We can, we'll, we'll work on that soon. This All is so right. great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you guys for being here. I mean, I guess these are a lot bigger than the miniatures you guys get to play with, but uh, hopefully that they have your seal of approval. <laughs> I think we could build like a bigger board for these. Maybe yeah. that oh, might this be a way be that. would be so cool to play with at the table. Like Full human size. chess. We can just move them around. <laughs> You're both very accomplished voice actors and you're used to, you know, creating characters with your voice and with your mind. So how does it feel, again, just to truly see these characters now in, you've got animation, you've got all the beautiful fan art, you've got these statues. How, how does that feel for you guys? Uh, it's, oh boy. It's so, it's so amazing that, uh, you know, we started all, all of this uh, just as friends playing around a table and uh, picturing these stories in our minds and our imaginations. When they got made into uh, comic books and animated series, it was, you know, everything just makes the characters in the world feel more real. But this is like, this is real real. Like you can pick it up and turn it around 360 and it's, and it's real all the way around. It's something that we never imagined would happen, but uh, it's, it's the coolest thing that's ever happened. It's the joke of any D&D group of like, when you start putting together your group is like, man, can you imagine we can make like, because you, you, you can commission the art and you can get friends to like draw your characters for you and that's great. And then, I mean, it's amazing. And then you're like, yeah, but what if, you know, we could get action figures or something yeah. like that. Or, and then, oh, it happened. <laughs> Uh, Oops. Especially, especially for Vox Machina, because there was no conception that any of this would be humanly possible at the time. And I mean, all of this is just amazing. <laughs> this is even, Sideshow is even a step beyond your wildest, yeah. your wildest dreams. Yeah. I don't know where we will put all of these things. We all need extra rooms in our homes. When you guys <laughs> create these characters, you know, and you've got the official designs, do you ever think down the line of the cosplayers and the artists who are going to have to try to attempt that? Because I've seen some amazing recreations of your characters. Yeah, yours are really hard. Talison. I specifically, I actually, <laughs> I was specifically for a while just trying to like torture cosplayers because I thought that would be a lot of fun. And then when we started doing uh, like animation work, I'm like, I've made a terrible mistake. And uh, I'm gonna try and start reeling it in. I haven't yet though for some yeah. strange reason. I think, I think cosplayers love Talison and animators hate him. Yeah, that's, that's very fair. <laughs> too intricate, too <laughs> detailed. Sometimes we go, we get to go out and, and meet fans and, at conventions and live appearances and stuff. Sometimes they give us uh, gifts. Um, and I've gotten so many flasks of alcohol <laughs> <laughs> that I can't, I don't know what to do with it. I, I feel like a, I'm running hooch in the 20s or something. <laughs> Aside from the visual element of the characters, uh, for you personally, do you feel like there's some uh, kind of, you know, internal element that you always incorporate into your characters, or do you try to make them all as different as possible? I always try and come from a, a you know, some sort of personal experience, but you know, life is varied and people are contain multitudes, so that, you know, they're, they're very different people, but they all are at the very least moments of weakness in my personality. <laughs> I think that goes for all of us. Yeah, yeah like these are all, the, all of these characters that you see here, as beautiful and impressive as they are, they're all tiny cries for help. <laughs> <laughs> they're, all, they're all our own insecurities manifest as beautiful art. Like this guy here is, it's my, it's my, my insecurity and my ego all at once. <laughs> and, and, and this guy is, is my imposter sy syndrome and like. Well, and your ability to make robots. That, that's, well, yeah. <laughs> well, and I, I've got my smugness right above you. There which you is go. Really nice. yeah. <laughs> it's great. They're psychological experiments. Always. 
Focusing on Vox Machina for just a moment, you know, you, you've got the elements that you put into them. What would be something if you could have one of uh, your character's skill sets or abilities that you could take out of the game world and if you wanted to have, or anyone on the team, if you could borrow one of their powers? The strength of Grog, um, but not just <laughs> his strength, um, his, his loyalty and his friendship is just so admirable and he's really like the most loyal of friends and I, I've always admired that about him and also he looks really cool. <laughs> Oh, see, that's just too nice, and now I'm just going to feel bad about anything. I, uh, that's I, okay. I, I, I actually, I will, I will say this is one of my own, but I, I wish I had my shit together as much as Caduceus has their shit together. Yeah. Because I just don't. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I wish I could keep it that together at all times and just, you know, be present but unattached. When are you going to get your own figure? Yeah. <laughs> You should have one like right here. I uh, we'll we'll get that settled once you know we finished all of your illustrious campaigns and all of that. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out next. But uh, do you guys have a favorite like team up moment with one of your characters or you know because this is a both of these sets are mm. fantastic and hopefully all the critters at home are going to bring home multiple characters. Yeah. Uh, are there any specific dynamics or uh, team ups that you think are like pretty essential to your characters? I, I mean, this wasn't quite a team up, but I. I will never stop smiling at that brief moment where uh, Percy and Grog almost fought to the death over <laughs> that skull, where it got really tense and really, really, really heavy. And then and I'd, I'd hidden the, the skull with like a, like a spell and like on the break from the game, Travis kind of came in and was like, where was it? I was like, oh, it was just invisible over on the corner. He's like, you asshole! He was, <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> felt so good about that. In campaign two, uh, the relationship between Nott and Caleb was always mm. really powerful for me, uh, partially because me and Liam are so, so close friends and have been for so many decades now, but also it's just a really cool dynamic um, that this, uh, this, this little scrappy goblin is helping this uh, amazingly talented wizard uh, find himself and in the process she she finds her family and stuff. It's, it was a really cool dynamic that I'm glad we stumbled upon. Also Yasha and Bo because Caduceus and Ford was great. I, I mean like you know Percy and Vex. There's all so many fun ones I don't. There's a lot of hotness going on on this table. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of, we really leaned into the hotness especially yeah, over on hot, 99. We it's were. a hot table. <laughs> Now we have uh, a series of art prints as well for a lot of these characters. We've got uh, the um, beautiful Sam Hogg kind of um, Art Nouveau style set of the Mighty Nine. Yes. We've got various characters and pairings here uh, for these. Do you guys tend to collect the characters that you voiced even like outside of Critical Role? Do you have collections of uh, any of the characters that you've, you've voiced previously? On every cartoon series that I work on, I ask the artists like, will you make something for my kids? And so, uh, so some stuff that I've been into, but mostly uh, just shows that I've worked on in the past and stuff. I have cool, cool art pieces that they get to look at. And I guess they haven't even really seen most of the cartoons. <laughs> they just are <laughs> like, I, you know, I guess my dad worked on that at some point. Could, could be for the best for some of it. But, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, most of the VO people I know collect action figures like trophies of like just like like big game hunting of look what I did right there. It's you know it's it's practically a reward statue, so you get the glass case full of them. And uh, this feels way better, I will admit. <laughs> it does. But yeah, yeah, I collect anything we work on. Out of all of the vestiges of divergence, oh, do you yeah. have a favorite? Whether or not you yourself would use it, do you have a favorite uh, application? Because all of our Vox Machina figures do feature, of course, their respective. Uh, vestiges. There's the easy one, which like which is the Death Walkers, because everyone wants to fly. It's but. just cool. <laughs> <laughs> Vex's Fenthris bow is uh, is cool, just because it was in the game. Uh, you know, it was just like you get a plus three to this and a plus four to that. But now that we've seen it in the animated series and stuff, it does so much cool stuff that we didn't really get to. Um, uh, get to flex with in the in the campaign, and uh, I love all the details too of like the the double, the double bows and stuff. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you guys have any favorite details of what's going on in our Mighty Nine collection? We've got a lot of you know spell slinging going on, a lot of colorful characters. Uh, any f interesting details or your favorites from what you've seen here? Because this is also the first time we've seen them all you know painted and in color together. My two favorites are they're the tiny cupcake sitting in Jester's backpack is kind of great, and I'll, I'll also say that the color shift on uh, on Caduceus's armor and shield are just exactly what I wanted, and that's really really pleasing. It, it nails it. Yeah, the colors just in general, like it's a much more colorful set of characters. <laughs> um, 
and to see how it's all executed is just really impressive. Like it's so precise, the skin tones and the, the shading is so cool. Molly Mock's jacket is uh -huh. incredible. Uh -huh. So detailed and precise. Yasha's wings are wild. How do you do that? Oh, that must have so taken beautiful. days, months. And my favorite feature is Caleb smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a four-dimensional experience <laughs> for fans and collectors at home. Well, as we're kind of winding up here, um, I wanted to ask, you know, seeing both of these teams, and we do actually also have artwork on our website in our collection of Bell's Hells, oh, all cool. celebrating uh, the eight years of Critical Role. What has been one of your favorite points? If you had to distill it down and just take one of those things, what is one of your favorite things of adventuring in Exandria for eight years, over eight years? Oh my God. Oh my God, I mean, besides this day, yeah. which is incredible. Um, Very overwhelmed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, uh, it hasn't really been like the big moments for me that uh, that stand out for me. It's it's like the, the smaller moments, um, like before we go out on stage for a live show and just we all sort of huddle up uh, before we go out on stage and sort of remind each other that like, hey, we're just friends who are playing around a table. And yeah, there's there's 4,000 people out there in the, in the stands watching us, but it's just us together, uh, a bunch of friends having fun and our imaginations make shows and make people laugh and now they make these things too. <laughs> I love the 20 seconds before cameras roll for every show. Yeah. I guess recently I just, I really enjoyed, if I'm just gonna, something basic, watching Matt um, uh, play some of the Vox Machina Mighty Nine characters and just watching that, that strange reflection where I'm like, oh, well done. <laughs> this is very odd being on this end of it. Matt isn't necessarily represented by one of these characters here, but he's he's in all of them uh, in in cool ways, and um, it must be wild for him to look at all all these characters, and and they're all like his, they're all his babies. <laughs> uh, he must have had a, a field day here. And we've we've snuck him into a few of the art prints actually. Oh good, good, uh, oh, good. He, he did uh, notice himself in the the Mighty Nine. This is how we roll. Holy shit! I only just noticed that this little hand here, the holding the mug, has bracelets on. I'm in the picture. That's so cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> he is represented. He's definitely uh, a strong part of this series as well. But That's hopefully, great. every uh, all of you feel that your characters and your you know your voices and your styles have been totally. represented in these. Totally. This is uh, a, a very special day, and thank you for for the tour. And this everything. is amazing. Thank you. I, yeah, I will never get over this. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us here. If you at home want to add any of these to your collection, you can go to side.show forward slash critical role to find all these statues, all the art prints, and even more. I believe we've got some of the comics on our website as well. So you can check that out. So cool. I'm going to need a minute. Yeah, sure. no. Take all the time you need. There's flowers back here, so please. <laughs> Thank you guys. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>